was him. Boom! There he's still at. I just supersized that. <laughs> Sometimes you burn that thing and kill it, this is what'll happen to him right here. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice smallmouth. Nice smallmouth. Golly, look at the size of that smallmouth. That's a toter. Yeah. <laughs> That's a toter, he just swatting at it. Andy, what were you thinking when you come up with this deal here now? Well, you know, Paul, you was asking me earlier how I came up with this idea. And, and once again, you, I've watched a lot of fishing shows, salt water or fresh water. And uh, you see a lot of large fish feeding on real small bait. So the thought being is by putting the versatility that this offers, you can offer a larger offering of smaller baits and still catch the bigger fish. The Alabama Rig 5 comes in a kit, 32 pieces. You'll get the new Alabama Rig. These are for teasers, these for your lures. You'll get nine hard-nosed grubs, nine hard-nosed minnows. You'll get five original Alabama Rig screw lock jig heads, four teaser heads, weighted, and four teaser screw locks unweighted. First thing you want to do to set up this new rig is get one of your screw lock jig heads and one of your minnows. Start in the middle of the bait. Be sure to stay in the middle of the bait. Come dead out of the center. And you just simply twist him till he snugs up against the back of the jig head. After you've done that, if, if you want to fish deep and fish your rig deeper, you take this, the weighted Alabama rig uh, teaser head. Start from the side, it gives you a better line up the center of the uh, minna. Just simply screw him up there till he butts up on the uh, nose of it. If you need to, you can, the, the uh, screw lock will bend if you need to center him up more. And that's for fishing deep. If you want to fish shallow water with Alabama rig number five, I use just a simple screw lock. Same principle, come from the side so you can get a true center of these minnows. Keep twisting till he comes almost over the end of the eyelet. Leave yourself just enough room to clip him on your Alabama rig. Now that we got our uh, jig heads and our teasers rigged up, I'm gonna show you how to assemble them on the Alabama rig five. To the back end always goes the jig head with the hook. Come up to where your teasers goes. I'm gonna use a weighted one on this one for fishing deeper. I'm gonna put this one on here with a jig head at the bottom. And I'm gonna use the one without weight for fishing the shallower water. Both work the same, same principle. What's really nice about this rig is if you wanna fish blaze baits, whatever, depending on the uh, length of uh, the baits you want to use, small, medium, or large. All this is adjustable. You can adjust them closer to the hook, which is primarily what I like. The closer you can keep these together without them tangling is what you want. Or if you want to fish the, the bigger baits, you just simply slide this up, and now your baits are further apart, so it's adjustable. You can fish anything you want to on this rig. I fully assembled the Alabama rig number five, and you can see with the, the mixed colors and the mixed baits, the versatility of this. Uh, there's days that a grub is far more effective than a minnow is. That's why you, you can mix match these any way you want to, blades, teasers, however you want to fish this. Uh, versatility of depth is there also. Uh, this works real great when fishing, when fishing is tougher, this is a rig you really want to throw. Uh, it's worked real well for me over the last year or so, and I know it'll work for you. This is the only rig 100% made in the USA. You know, this, this rig, the way it actually performs in the water, the way it catches fish, even in, in tough times, you know, I've got buddies and my dad, even including myself, have really said, do you really want to show this and, and put it out on the market? 
And uh, it has been a tough decision for me and uh, for some of my good friends and all. They're probably at the house crying when you get these, knowing that, you know, every fisherman wants a little edge. Uh, com uh, competitive fishermen or not, you always want to be able to outfish your fishing partner. And I guarantee you, one of these will do it. That fish knocked the fool out of the look of here. <laughs> Come here, darling. I'm gonna tell you what. I get called on all the time to give a fishing tip. Well, I'm gonna give you a big one. You better get you one of these. <laughs>